Hey everyone, welcome again to the channel. And as you can see, I am on site here. I'm here with my friend Fabian Evelyn from Evelyn Paint Protection Film Coatings. How you been, buddy? I'm good. Nice I'm to see good. you again. Good to see you again as well. Thanks for yes, inviting sir. me down. I thought I'd come down and just uh, just talk a little bit about paint protection oh, films. Yeah. We did this last year, yes. but uh, a lot has changed in the industry. So I'm just yes. curious to see what's kind of going on in the business a little bit and yeah, tell the viewers see. because Let's face it, everybody's getting Teslas these days. I mean, look, we got, you know, three Teslas. We got an, a TTRS here, an Audi behind us. Yep. Um, you know, everybody's doing this stuff because, mm. you know, people want to protect their films, films or, or, or actually their paint, I should paint, say. Yeah. Um, so what's been going on in the industry? Like, what's um, In the industry, I've noticed that uh, films are getting clearer now. So some of the leading brands have decided to go into a clearer film because there's new guys in the market that are coming up now and they're coming out really clear. Um, then we've also noticed that there's a lot of fashion films coming up. So there's films with carbon fiber embossed into it. Really? Got films I didn't know that. that are like black. So we've got like a, a black PPF now. So you can turn a whole car black. Wow. You didn't know No, I didn't know this. No, okay, my bad. So, <laughs> so we've got, and now we've got. You're the expert, not me. I know, but I had it. Okay. And now we have a, there's a matte black PPF coming out. No way. Yeah. That's going to look really good on roofs and it's cars, right? really crazy. That's crazy. So carbon fiber, gloss black, matte black, PPF, and there's like a monochromatic PPF as well. Hmm. That's interesting. So there's a lot of stuff out there now. That's cool. A lot of choice. So one of the questions that people ask about is brands. I mean, there's so many different brands out there. Right. Um, are you specific to anything or you just kind of deal with whatever's um, out there? At one point I was. However, I've learned that every vehicle has a different paint finish, which that's no, I should have known that, right? But, <laughs> um, but every vehicle you know, requires a certain film and certain clients require a certain look, right? Some clients want optical clarity over, you know, the brand name and the marketing and all that kind of stuff. And then there's clients that want the brand name because they know it's bulletproof and it's been working for so long. Mm -hmm. So I use everybody. I use Expel, I use SunTech, I use ClearGuard Nanos, uh, film from uh, Prestige Films. Um, there's no one I'm really like sitting and saying, you know, I'm going to be in bed with you for life. Mm -hmm. Unless they want me to be in bed with them for life, <laughs> then you're free to send us products. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I know the one thing that you do um, is you experiment a lot. Like you, yep. you take a look at, at you know a bunch of different films, and you. I mean, off camera, uh, uh, Fabian was showing me some stuff uh, um, with some satin finishes that seem to be quite yep. popular these days, mm -hmm. and uh, just. You, you really need a pro to show you the differences because just to look at it on a car, you'd never know. So Fabian has these, uh, what are they, metal samples? or like Yeah, so it's like a sample hood. It's a sample hood that... Yeah. Um, they, it's only know, about it's, this big. Yeah, it's really not big at all. Yeah. And it's sprayed with paint and clear. Um, and, you know, it's probably about aluminum, I think it is. Yeah. And we just play with it. Like, we put film all over it. I'll do it on that first before I start really testing it on a car. And then I'll, you know, introduce clients like yourself, maybe, or someone else and say, hey, you know what, I've got the sample. I want to put this on one mirror or I want to put this on one fender and I want to see how it behaves. Yeah. And or I just do it on my own car. Right? Yeah. So I've got a few cars at home. We just put them on there and play with them and see if the films last. I've got uh, an RDX at home that's got three different films on it. <laughs> it's got like uh, Clear Guard Nano on the bumper. It's got Expel on the hood. It's got um, another one. Um, Premium Shield on okay. the fenders, and it's just watching them behave. It's been on that car now for about a year, and I've watched all three films behave very differently. And one of the films, particularly, is stayed very clear and glossy. Oh, nice, cool. I won't say who. <laughs> Call me and I'll tell you. Otherwise, I have to kill you, right? Is that how that works? <laughs> So if somebody wants to use your services or look at films and stuff, like what would you tell a customer? Because obviously you're, you know, a small shop, mm -hmm. pretty busy. Yep. Um, and I know you work dog hours, <laughs> crazy. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. How would you how would you respond to someone who's looking at? 
Um, so the first thing I always say, and I think I said this in one of our videos previously, is get to know your installer. Yes, that's a good thing, but it's not always easy, right? Um, for us here, we're by appointment only, so like we will not open our doors unless we know you're coming, because nine times out of ten, I'm either prepping a car, installing on a car, or on the on the phone with a client, or a client's here. So yeah. it's like I try to keep everything to that task. Um, so when you're out there getting PPF, if you know someone that's had PPF done, I always say ask that person, you know, can I see the installation that's been done on your car? Looking at someone else's installation is key because it tells you kind of like, should I go to that installer or not? Mm -hmm. um, if you can get an appointment with a shop, our shop, whoever the shop might be, um, ask to see their work if it's possible. There are sometimes our cars in the shop that you can actually see the work. If you can't, great. And um, look at photos online. Photos, videos, reviews. Uh, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Like, I mean, I can't say how much our videos have helped in regards to getting people to understand more about PPF and ceramic coatings and like window tint. Um, I can't say how much like the reviews from clients within the Tesla community have said, um, you know, you got to go see it to believe it kind of thing. Uh, and we're not paying people to do these reviews. I'm not. There's no way ifs, ands, or buts because at the end of the day, it is what you get, like whether I'm on video or in person, right? Yeah. But it, the key part is know the installer, know know their work and also, you know, read the reviews. Has anything changed in the ceramic coating situation? Like, you know, films are always developing stuff, but no, I mean, everybody's coating, talking about... The coatings are just getting better. Yeah. The coating, well, Specifically from Fine Lab, Fine Lab, I'm paying more attention to them. So their film, their coatings are getting way better. Like I mean, we've got a, a three-year coating that's coming out that's almost going to be performing like a five-year coating, mm -hmm. and that's crazy. Like I mean, in the sense of the chemical makeups that they're they're creating right now, they're making them more durable, more uh, lasting longer. We've got another one that's coming out. I don't know the name of it, but it's going to be one of those ones that's supposed to last beyond its seven year time. Wow. You know what I mean? And it's still doing the self healing capabilities. It's amazing just to see, you know, what we're exposed to because we do have the access to the guys directly that mm -hmm. are in Chicago and stuff like that. So when they come down here to do our, our um, you know, our two day seminars and stuff like that to show us what's going on in the industry from their standpoint, it, it's, yeah, they've got a new glass coating that's coming up. Everybody's got a glass coating. Everybody's got interior, <laughs> interior coatings. And that's cool. But the thing is, I like what they're doing because they're not just looking at the fact of being flashy and kind of creating a lineup like everybody else. What they're looking at is, how does it work? How is it going to feel with the installers uh, installing it? Are they going to be installing it quickly? You know what I mean? When your time is money, right? So if you're able to install it quickly and you're able to install it efficiently, you're getting good results in a shorter time frame and the client's able to get their car back faster, mm -hmm. right? So they're, they're looking at that. They're also looking at how long is the product lasting. So before they even put it in the market, there's guys within the installation network that have the products. They're using it on their cars. Um, the guys that are creating it, they're putting it on their cars. They want to see, like, how's it behaving in everyday use. There's guys out there doing videos all the time saying, oh, yeah, lighter can, you know, stick. Give me a break. Then <laughs> there's, there's guys out there that are taking, like, mud and throwing it over shoes and it's running off. It's like, yeah, that's great. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's wear and tear, right? Like how many times are you gonna get in and out of the seat of your car? About a thousand times before like, you know, maybe winter, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, how is that abrasion from your butt sliding in and sliding out? Is that gonna continuously transfer that blue dye? Or is that blue dye gonna be held up until like 500? And then after 500, you might start seeing it. They're trying to track that stuff. Yeah. So I'm curious because obviously you do a lot of Teslas. So you're very well known here in the Tesla community. The white seats is the number one thing that everybody asks about. Now, I love the Model X or S or the 3 in the white seats. I mean, it's a fantastic material. I'm just curious, you as, as a guy who sees probably more cars than I do on a daily basis, um, wh what are your thoughts as, as far as the wear and tear in the white seats? I know they're easy to clean, mm -hmm. but you know, dye transfer is a real thing. And if you don't keep on top of it in cleaning it on a regular basis, I think that's probably the number one thing that people always ask. I would never get the white seats because A, I don't like cleaning my car or B, I think they're going to get dirty. Yeah. So my, my biggest thing is, is that if you're going to get white seats on any car, um, automatically clean them right away. Yeah. That's the first thing you want to do. So um, warm towel, um, a really light uh, detergent, clean the seat right away because the warmness of the uh, towel or the water or whatever the case might be, 
it's going to actually open the pores. It doesn't matter if it's a vegan le leather. It doesn't matter if it's like real leather. The pores are going to open up a little bit. So it'll be a little bit easier for you to feed a product into it. Yeah. So clean it right away. Get it prepped for install. Wait for it to dry. So once it's dried and everything like that, now you lightly apply some kind of you know coating or uh, conditioner, mm -hmm. right? Um, we've been testing it, and I've been working with the guys with Fine Lab uh, here because they they came out with something, and we were testing it, and it was kind of like you know it was kind of smeary. So it was just because these seats are not true leather, so it's you have to figure out the right formulation for these seats. So we've they have figured out a formula that's great for the vegan seats and also for leather seats and it's now you're, are you just talking like, about a cleaning product or are you talking about coating. like like a coating coating now, right coating and i mean like is it still a ceramic coating or is it a specialized type of um i know it has ceramic particles in it okay um it's a little too techy for me to like jump into it and like break it down but like there is there is some ceramic properties in it that will allow for seat tramp seat transfer to be mitigated over a longer period of time. I see. So not only will it uh, condition the, the material, but it'll also give the, t the material some durability so that you're not like, you're not running, you're not running back to get it coated in like six months or something like that, right? Like you can actually say, you know, about a year from now, it'll be good, but with good general maintenance, right? So a lot of people think, I'm gonna put a ceramic coating on, a PPF on, I, and it's bulletproof. It's not. No. It's not bulletproof. You have to maintain the product. Like I've always maintained the seats on my Model X and the worst that I ever experienced with it was some wear and tear along the piping, but that's mechanical wear and tear. Right. Right. That's just not because it was dirty for any reason or whatever. Right. It's just, you know, you're getting in and out of the car mm -hmm. and uh, things like that are not covered under warranty because they're like tires. They're, I mean, you can't protect against right. anything like that short of putting like a seat cover on your on your seat or yeah. grandma's plastic yeah, or something. Exactly. Right? Now, how often did you actually clean those seats? Every time I wash the car, I always, always clean the seats. So you wash your car about what? Maybe once a week, once a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you're doing it once a week, that's perfect. Right. But for the average person, like not like yourself, you, you baby your car. Oh <laughs> yeah, my God. I do. I you do. baby your car and I love it. Cause <laughs> that means you're not, you're not seeing me. Well, no, I don't love it. Actually. I want you to see me, but, <laughs> you know, but anyways, I mean, if you're not, if you're not able to, you know, maintain your car on a daily basis, it's one of the, or a weekly basis. It's not bad. Even if you did it once a month, just mm -hmm. don't let it get to a point where you've got so much dye transfer into your into the pigments of the material that you're trying to like scrub the material's color out because yeah. once that happens it's done right now you have to get someone to come in and do some kind of dye work and all. it's not worth it so if you notice that you've gotten in the car for the last two weeks and it's starting to transfer a little bit keep something in the car maybe you know what i mean like, like a microfiber cloth, yeah, or like something, a microfiber yeah. cloth and a cleaning solution in the trunk or whatever your you know your detailer recommends to you right keep that in the trunk of the car and as soon as you notice it say it takes a few seconds before you go inside of the house, just wipe it down. So you've been very busy in the Tesla community. Uh, we did a video when we did the Model X and it got a lot of attention and stuff, brought you some sure. business and stuff, and that's that's awesome. Yes, thank um, you. <laughs> no problem, thank my you pleasure. <laughs> I just wanna say thank you one more time. I have no problem. Um, so I think it's your opportunity maybe to say thank you to the Tesla community, or like, what would you like to say to the Tesla community? All right, so for the, those in the community that follow you, uh, we'll know that once in a while, you know, they might see something pop up on Twitter or something like that saying that um, I've got a few slots open. Well, it's not just a few slots anymore. So what we're going to be doing in the month of October is a thank you appreciation month to the Tesla community specifically. If you're a Tesla owner and you have gas vehicle, it doesn't matter. We'll take you in. That's fine. However, it is predominantly focused on my Tesla people. Hi, Tesla. Hi, guys. It's for you guys. 15% off all services, um, excluding vinyl wraps. So there's there's a reason for that, but anyways, <laughs> vinyl wraps are excluded from that 15% off. But if you're doing PPF, if you're doing window tint, if you're doing uh, Chrome delete, I know it's vinyl, but it's part of it. Um, and if you're doing um, ceramic coatings, 15% off all services to the Tesla community. And thank you for, you know, being with me. Like, I mean, you guys have been very nice to me. Uh, you've been very welcoming to me. I've been doing Teslas really heavy within the last two years, but I've been working within the community bit by bit for the last five years. So, I mean, I really never had an opportunity to really say thank you. I've done it maybe bit by bit. We did Christmas and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. no, thank you. All month long from October 1st to the, what, 31st of October, we're going at it. And 
you guys are welcome to come and take advantage of it. Well, take advantage of it. Check out his website. A book now. <laughs> yeah, 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 book. So, yeah, he's a busy yeah. guy, so yeah. you got to get in. Book now. Uh, link will be in the video description if you want to check out his website and stuff. But you had one more thing you wanted to say. Yes. Because you're working on something that's yeah, kind of so interesting. What's fun is, so it's been a, it's a twofold month. So um, thank you to the Tesla community. However, we're also doing a, um, a very big thank you to the beautiful foundation. The Beautiful Foundation, for the last nine years, we've done a project called Project Beautiful. What we've been doing is we've been working with women in the uh, community that have either had to deal with substance abuse, uh, domestic violence, um, whatever, whatever circumstances uh, that have hit them, they've ended up in a shelter. And on this one specific day, we have tried to you know, make them realize and understand that they are beautiful no matter what their circumstances are. Uh, so this month, what we'd like, or for the month of October, what we'd like to do is, I would actually like to donate to the to the charity, a, give them a ten thousand dollar check. Wow! And this would just help them continue to do what they're doing, but on a regular basis throughout the full year. So not only is it just the one day, but now we're going to find other days. We want to be able to give it back to the children. So yeah, that's what we want to do. So a portion of proceeds is going to definitely from anything that we do for the month of October is gonna help us get to this goal of being able to write a $10,000 check to say thank you and keep doing what you're doing. Um, they can be found online at www.thebeautifulfoundation.ca. Uh, um, they do have a link on their website where you can donate directly if you're not able to book a service but you wanna donate directly, you can uh, from their website. Awesome, well I'll put a link down in the video description. You guys can take a look at that foundation if you wanna contribute. Um, any closing thoughts? When are you coming back? <laughs> uh, that's a, you, that's are, a, you are coming back. That's a, that's a talk for another video. Uh, we'll leave it at that for now. Well, there you go. As usual, the links for everything we talk about will be down in the video description. Fabian, thanks for having me down. It's oh, nice to see you. you again. Thank you again. Uh, thank you, Tesla community. Uh, it's been a very warm welcome and a very big thank you to y'all. I hope y'all take advantage of it in October and uh, we just have a ball doing what we do best. Sounds good. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because that's the only way this channel grows. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.